Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. One of the most uh, common symptoms uh, the patient coming to emergency or even in office and those patients that are all already hospitalized in the is uh, dyspnea or shortness of breath that can be new episode of the dyspnea or exacerbation of that in the known case and unfortunately this one is uh, very challenging to approach uh, to the diagnosis differential diagnosis and it's very important because of the struggling the patient and we need uh, to diagnose as soon as possible from the pathophysiology aspect we can categorize the, the cause of the causes of uh, the spin to the five category but this classification doesn't help us to approach the patient the easiest way is clinical approach for this group of symptoms this symptom is uh, divided to the uh, cardiogenic and non-cardiogenic uh, causes that top of them heart failure systolic and diastolic coronary artery disease pulmonary embolism and arrhythmia are the top of them and after a non-cardiogenic uh, is COPD and infection and non-uncommon -uncom cause of pneumotrox here we can see incidence of the, each of them in each field in the field rescue field and in the emergency and in general practice uh, practice as you can see all those uh, five of them at the, uh, include most of the cases of the dyspnea traditionally uh, physical exam ekg and checks x-ray and blood test uh, can most of the time help differential uh, the cause of the uh, dyspnea but uh, still is not very sensitive those approach in many study it has showed that uh, adding ultrasound of the lung and heart together that we call it cardiopulmonary ultra integrated pulmonary uh, integrated uh, ultrasound cardiopulmonary integrated ultrasound can be very helpful and very high sensitivity to the uh, differential diagnosis of the spinal now let's go how we approach uh, this uh, symptom and patient In another lecture, I'm going to detail the ultrasound finding of the uh, lung in those pulmonary disorder, including acute respiratory uh, syndrome, distress syndrome, COVID, pulmonary fibrosis, pneumonia, and so on. Up to the next time. Have a wonderful time.